the aesthetics of natural versus man-made beauty. How do you capture a beautiful bird without keeping it in a cage? True beauty is beyond description, therefore beyond words. Have you ever been rendered speechless by something so exquisitely beautiful that you felt your heart might burst? Anything you say will take you out of the experiencing of that moment. With true beauty comes timelessness, for it cannot be contained in or by words, only alluded to. It is said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, for what one person deems as beautiful, another might dismiss as average. There seems to be certain things that most of us would agree are beautiful. Sunsets, a child's laugh or a piece of music, et al. In my experience, what allows a person to see more deeply into the divine is their state of consciousness. How aware they are is reflected in their ability to be present and available to the beauty of life and all its myriad forms. We are the timing to recognise such beauty. Beauty is never not, and so the more awareness blossoms in you, the deeper you see and become available to the exquisite beauty that not only surrounds you, but also includes you. For we are not separate from existence. We are an intrinsic part of this holographic universe. We are contained within it. We are it. Therefore, not only are we beauty itself, everything is. The mind, unless you're awakened, can only be in one of two places, the dead past or the imagined future. Yet beauty is always here now in this moment. But where are we? Are we lost in our thoughts? i.e. I'm talking to you, but you're thinking about tonight's dinner, or you're cooking your dinner, but your mind wanders and then wonders about what will happen on MasterChef and if your food will be as good. It is in this moment of distraction from the now that you miss the beauty of whatever is right in front of you. No matter how ordinary it may seem, quite often the extraordinary is contained, indeed hidden, in the ordinary. Let those who have eyes see. As we alluded to earlier, the mind likes to divide good and bad, right and wrong, up and down, beautiful and ugly. For me, there is no distinction about what is better, natural or man-made beauty, as beauty is beauty and cannot be divided. It is the realisation that beauty is unto itself, sublime in its unpretentiousness and powerful in its understatedness. It does not require your or my or anyone's opinion to give it validation, for it is in and of itself, self-sustaining. Aesthetics is about the appreciation of beauty and feeling from the heart centre, the beauty in everyday mundane things that perhaps we take for granted. We all have a sense of natural beauty, and yet there are those of us who are driven to create, some would say perhaps co-create, by being intuitively or divinely guided, things of lasting beauty. Art, dance, music, poetry, architecture, film, gardens, and we could go on and on and on. In the end, if you walk with beauty in your heart, then everything you experience will be a reflection of all that is beautiful. As within, so without. How do you capture a beautiful bird without keeping it in a cage? By becoming the sky. <laughs>